You know, this is the 10 year anniversary of Fashion Next. Over the years, we really solidified our position as a major fashion experience platform dedicated for best independent designers, not only from the Portland or Pacific Northwest or even United States, but internationally. Yeah. Uh, honestly, number one in the area, at least. Well, I mean, as you know, Forbes magazine put us as number one in the U.S. cities fashion weeks. So it's definitely, uh, we are solidified our, so we have solidified our position in the, with the fashion elites and the fashion media. Uh, what got you into fashion? Well, I got into fashion after art and culture. I was involved with major organizations supporting collectively art and culture. So I, at that time, saw that like for fashion designers, there is no collective organization in this region to support them, whereas fashion designers independently cannot get, create the experience to attract the right kind of patrons who can afford their clothing. So that's what got me interested in connecting the designers and the patrons through a collective platform. Hi, I'm Angela Foster, or Chochayat. Yeah, I am the lead makeup artist. Uh, I built the team, I coordinated all the looks between the models, uh, or I mean between the designers and the makeup and hairstylists actually. Um, I definitely led it in a certain direction so that it was cohesive, but also we were able to do quick changes because that is really where the show gets uh, super fast paced and intense is when we have to do those quick changes. So it takes a lot of planning actually to make that all happen smoothly. Do you do new makeup for each change, uh, outfit change? So luckily this year, and I feel like it's kind of just improves every year because I've been doing this for about seven years. And every year we just really change little things, improve little things here and there. And one of those things that we have improved is like when models are walking from one designer to the next designer, they don't ever walk from specifically the first designer to the second or the second to the third. It's always like a leapfrog. So that was really helpful with our changes this year, uh, was the leapfrog kind of technique that we use. And it was easy to kind of create the looks. Um, a little bit of time, a little bit of a buffer in between. Yeah, um, the amount of buffer for it though is probably about five minutes. And five minutes would be for them to change their outfits get their hair changed, and get their makeup changed all together. I was wondering about in line, yeah, to be on the runway. So do you take off all the makeup from the from like the previous look? So that's part of the planning process that I do. So you start maybe minimal and then get more? Yeah, so tonight we had, we started with a smoky eye and then we took some of the smoky eye off and we just left kind of the smoky around the eye, just around the eye for more of a glam look. And then we took it off for the last designer uh, for a basically like nude eye look. And then we added a hot pink lip at the end of the night. Oh, cute, I love it. Definitely changes. The first change, I made sure that we didn't have to change a lip, but luckily we had time and I was able to change some lips to match the dresses or complement the dresses like we wanted. And how many people do you have on your team on your makeup? So it actually changes every night because we're all independent artists, so we're all working. So I actually did a wedding today earlier. I did five people's hair uh, before I came to the show at about 3.30 or 4, and then led a team of about seven makeup artists tonight. Tonight was our biggest team, uh, but last night we only had six, and then the night before we only had five. So, so you had two events in one day, this big event and another one. Wow, hats off to you, that's that's incredible. And you look great doing it too. Oh my gosh, thank you. And you, all that is the planning, honestly. Um, did you do your own makeup or did another artist, do you guys do like each other's makeup? 
We definitely keep an eye out for each other, but you know what? Once we're done with makeup, we're kind of just done with makeup, honestly. Like, we will blot our faces and go to the party because we want to be able to celebrate, too. And it's exactly a while to clean up. So. Um, so how did you get involved with Fashion Next? How many, um, like, how did you first originally get involved? So I heard about Fashion Next actually from the beauty school that I graduated from, which was Fagan's, and it's at the Clackamas Town Center. They were really involved in the fashion industry, and I was able to kind of get my foot in the door that way. So the first two years, I worked under uh, a different makeup artist, and I actually did hair for the first year as well. So before Fashion Next was, I've been in it for seven years. The first year I did it, Fashion Next was four days. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's minimalized after COVID to three days. But the first like four years or five years that I did it, it was, um, oh, I guess like maybe six years that I did it. It was for four days. What changes have you seen in Fashion Next from like the first year you started to now? Oh my gosh, I feel like there's been a lot of changes. So uh, the first thing that I would think of is the venue. We have a beautiful venue this year. Like it's way different from the tents that we built like the first few years. So we oh, it's intense. In tent. Yeah. So I think for the first two years we were working in a tent. So um, yeah, that they just built, which honestly, that's pretty like hard hard in itself to build putting up the whole runway show from a tent and we had a, a lifted runway but uh things have changed a little bit definitely and uh, i definitely think the venue uh was a really really awesome upgrade yeah it's beautiful here honestly um have you noticed that there's just like a lot like uh, more um awareness of uh, fashion next than when you first started with them like more people know about it Honestly, I I feel like all of us together in the world are kind of refiguring out how to do things. And there's a new way to do things. Like after being a makeup artist for 10 years, it's been 10 years since I graduated from beauty school, I feel like I had things figured out. And after COVID, it's all different. I'm yeah, that's... I feel that. Yeah, and I think all of us are Everybody's learning how to socialize and work again. Yeah, so I think that we're still doing that too for fashion, you know, for for events, for everything, honestly. Sure, definitely. How do people get a hold of you if they want to like work with you and get in touch? So my website is always under construction because I'm a super creative and I always want to add things. and. But you can always find me on Instagram at Angela underscore Foster underscore M-U-A-H. That hasn't changed from the time I started my Instagram. And then you can also get my email there if you want to reach out about... Uh, and book her. Yeah, about anything, honestly. I do uh, everything from music videos to productions, commercials, photo shoots, weddings. That's what I love about doing makeup and hair is I can really do lots of different things. Uh, out here uh, leading the way for other younger women. So I applaud you for that, uh, doing big things in the community and um, yeah, leading that path for other people. So love that. Thank you. And I want to compliment your lip. It matches the, uh, the mic so perfectly. I love it. That was actually a plan because usually I get lipstick all over the mic, but now you can't it so oh my that God. was part see? of the master plan see? see this is the planning i'm talking about for fashion next exactly oh, thoughts uh, as a mom you do that for yourself <laughs> yeah yeah well thank you so much for talking with me and inviting me to interview at this event yo we're live on the scene at fashion next right now we have a very special guest with us tonight tyrone chris, chris. i'm pretty fucking leon chris it is that's right, and we out here, we outside. So Tyrone, what brings you here tonight? I'm one of the models today. We are walking for uh, Studio Link. We walked for Gutter Girl today. Great outfits, uh, thank them both for having me. Yeah, Gutter Girl I've known for a while. Uh, they used to have a shop at uh, Gallery Go Go near Pioneer Square, and T, he oh, makes girl. grills. So yeah, T, yeah. he's always been making grills for people. He's always been involved in the music community. I'm a musician too, so that's how we got connected. 
they kind of uh, specialize in streetwear. So a lot of like uh, Virgil Abloh, like high-end fashion streetwear. So I really like that stuff because fashion for me, it's like, I love the high-end stuff, but it's all about the high-end stuff being accessible to everyone. That's what I really like about it. So yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Um, and I saw you um, doing like a little freestyle. At, was it Nike? Uh, Adidas. It was at Adidas talking about Nike. Yeah, yeah. I feel like music for me, I'm an instantaneous songwriter. So play a song and I will make something off the spot. Any artist who just wants to get in the studio or just like make something, I like taking someone who hasn't done something and showing them that they can make something. What, what came first, the fashion or the music? Oh, I mean music for sure. I mean, since listening to College Dropout and Child the Creator, he's a huge influence. Right, okay. And then naturally, those two guys, they make fashion with their music. So you see that collaboration. I think fashion yeah, and music are very, very yeah, yeah, it's like, if you are a good artist, you're building a world and your world has your own style in it, right? Yeah, yeah. no, every, so. I feel like every big like artist we've seen in the last like 10, even 15 years has had their own unique style that has been I want to say co-opted. I think it's been adopted by, uh, you know, uh, you know, underprivileged youth and stuff. And it's, yeah. it's, it's brought them out of like it. Fashion gives a lot of people, I think, a lot of comfort and a lot of uh, uh, what's a good term for it. Fashion I don't know. It, it, personality, it, it's you know? personality. It's yeah, everything. it's yeah. like um, fashion. You know, I'll be honest. I'm not like the type of guy who wakes up in the morning and I'm like, I Let's need to be. Not. Yeah, I need to wear the designer. My goal is simply to express yes. what I want to people. And I'm a straightforward guy, so I wear straightforward clothing. Yeah. Some people are ostentatious. They really want to be seen. Outside, and yeah, I respect yeah, that. Box, but yeah. fashion is really like, when you see someone as a black man, you know, yes, yes, your haircut's yeah. very important. Your fade, yes, your lineup, yeah. you're judging someone by what they look yeah. like all the time. So you're basically you showing who you are to the world, your first impression. And that's yeah. very important. Uh, what got you into it, to make it? Oh, what got me into making music? Honestly, Little B. Do you know who Little yes! B is? Yes! I like how you God. say I like how you say little. little B, yeah. He he says little B. Little B. Oh yeah. Little B, little B. Des does that too. I, think I say little instead of little. Shout out Bass God. I love you, Bass God. Bass God, show me your feet. How do you feel? Wait, 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 I have a good one. I'm interviewing now. What's going on? Okay, guys, welcome to Fashion X. I'm Tyrone, Hostile Takeover. Okay, Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? Uh, Hurry. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? Oh, fuck. Robert De Niro. Kanye West or Pharrell? Pharrell. Pharrell, Pharrell for me. Okay, for sure. Nike or Adidas? Hurry, Nike's watching. Your paycheck's going to go away. Depends on the release. Oh, okay, good point. Okay. So I'm gonna do a freestyle for y'all now. Impromptu. Okay. Uh, living life like a dream. You know I get this money in a bag. It's a scheme. I got a fat ass just like Snooky. All these niggas rookies when they carry my bag. I swear to God, niggas come around bring words back from 2010. Like it's 2K. Reverence, I'm blessing my sins. These niggas looking at me ostentation with my flow. Where the fuck these niggas go? Keep a 30 on me like I'm Steph Curry. All these niggas hurry, catch a pick and roll. What the fuck these niggas stroll? Like a baby man, I swear to fuck I'm Carol Bass going straight to molasses. I never got it. You niggas not even in my league. I swear to God, I get an A plus like Emma Stone. Niggas coming from the ground like Tupac said. I swear to God, planted on my seed and I shoot on these niggas like Red Dead. I switch the beat up and I keep another flow. I swear to God, I come on these niggas, but they stay lying to me to my face like Pinocchio's nose. And I'm froze on, swinging on this ice, nigga. I swear to around they come around like some. Never say that word because they know in this life they trying to cancel you like Prometheus eating from your guts. Niggas pack runs. Why do you think uh, the 10th anniversary of Fashion X is so special? Like what makes it set, sets it apart? Oh, okay. So these events in general are just very special because art, as an artist, you never know when your art's gonna impact people. There's someone in this audience today that came here to this 10th year anniversary event that's gonna be inspired to make something. And maybe 10 years down the line, they'll have their own Fashion X. So this is a catalyst for every artist in the future. You know? Hell yes, well said, my friend. On the motherfucking scene live, I'm Pretty Leon. I'm Chris and X. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tyrone. Follow me at Life B Sides, L I F E B S I D E S. You can see me there. Everything I do for acting, modeling, music. We've done it again. And, uh, on the scene. This is all what? On the scene is the show. 
on the scene. I love that. So um, we have another beautiful representation of what Fashion Next is all about. Yep. Right? I'm Carissa Des. There you go. So um, what do you think? What is one thing that has encompasses the 10th year anniversary of this show, of this event? I think that um, I, can't, I was here last year, and um, I feel like it's definitely bigger than it was last year. Um, the styles are bolder. Um, and it's a lot of the same crew, honestly, that was here last year and more. Well, which fashion designer do you think was your favorite out of all the three days? Her name is Anne, and she did a line that was about um, toxic relationships. I can't remember the, the name of the line, but just like the whole vibe, she had music that went along with it. She, her models walked, it was like a very edgy walk and they walked very slowly. Like just the whole thing together, I think was amazing. Yeah. So what do you think Tito has meant to the fashion industry and uh, the immediate fashion community in Portland? Uh, Tito is great. I, I don't think that people know that Portland has um, really like a scene and that like a lot of fashion. They just think of like, um, like Paul Bunyan type style and they think of Portland fashion. So I think he just kind of um, is bringing the fashionably, fashionable and beautiful people out and um, all these amazing designers so people know that there is some style in Portland. We just have to bring them out and, and he brings them all together in one spot in a beautiful place, a beautiful venue as well. So That's a great answer. So you look like a fashionista yourself. What inspires your style? I like kind of like the a punk rock kind of edgy look. But when I come to a fancy event, like putting it together in like more like a polished, but um, with like a hint of like punk, you know, I guess. Yeah. Very well. Very well. I've always had my own style. So it's just whatever I think. That is that is pretty tough to do in a constantly changing trendy fashion industry so how do you keep up or how do you stay true to your, yourself i just try to be very unique but also of course i'm influenced by other people's styles around me um and what i see online but then i like make it my own I, you know of course like in fashion you kind of um look at the what's what's currently fashionable and um i personally like pick from different types of uh looks and make my own look so how do you think this show could get better. How could Fashion X be better? Um, I guess if more people knew about it and there was even more people here. Uh, I think it was full. I think there, um, all the seats were filled, but I don't know. I feel like um, more people should know about it and uh, more people should come and support. And, um, you know, cause it's a very inclusive environment here. Like maybe people think like, oh, it's like beautiful models and like, you know, fancy shit, but um, it's really like, everybody's very welcoming, so. What was one thing that you were very impressed with uh, this weekend? Definitely the outfits, definitely the fashion. Um, also uh, very impressed with the fact that I knew a lot of people here and I, um, you know, recognize a lot of the models from last year and just like, everybody is so friendly and down to earth, even like the most beautiful people that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> there's like, chill, there's, you know. Down That's there. awesome. One of the things I noticed about this uh, show is that it really touches on all walks of life, but also all uh, shapes and sizes. Yeah. How important do you think that is to um, have within a show like this and uh, continue to shed light on some of those um, marginalized um, people within our communities? Yeah, I definitely think, I definitely saw different shapes and sizes um different genders and um you know um not just you know skinny white models but like a, a blend of uh different cultures like the first artist i saw sorry i can't remember but it was more of like an asian style and there was like more of like a hawaiian like some hawaiian outfits as well Um, so I really like the diversity, um, and I think that's very important because, um, you know, not all of us are super skinny white people. So you have killed this interview, a very impromptu one at that. So again, you should be hired. What was your name again? Fode. Fode Kaba. Fode Kaba. How do we find you on Instagram? Ooh, I don't do Instagram. How can we find you? 
and I'm a huge part of the port, uh, fashion scene, and I'm ov obviously supported the fashion industry and uh, Tito for over 10 years. So That's I'll be fun. back. I'll see you next year. Key Canvas, what's good? What's good? You're a great artist. I've been listening to your music. Thank you. Um, what brings you out here to the fashion? Uh, fashion Next. I love fashion, and I actually did a, a fashion show like uh, some years back here. So I just want to pop out. I got some friends that are here. I was like beautiful girls, so it's good to come. Me too. Yeah, so it's good to come and do it. There's so many beautiful people. Like you look around and you're like, wow, well, okay, I'm not the most beautiful person here, but that's still okay. That's what I was thinking. Not you. That's what I'm thinking. Work. I kind of was thinking the same thing about my. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, it's fine. Um, I appreciate the fashion, um, and a lot of people here are actually musicians too. Like a lot of the people in fashion, like yeah, it's just creative. Yeah, I peeped that. There's, there's a lot of like artists, foreign artists, whatever, whatever here. It's, it's nice. It's cool. Is it? Have you been here like previous year? Yeah, like I walked in this. Pre I walked in this in this in this fashion like next thing. Last like, year or some years ago, back when I was still living here. Are you still doing any modeling? Whenever I want, I love modeling. I'll do it whenever, but like it's not like a thing I'm like chasing and much before. Just just music. But so I'm about to drop a lot of music this month and the next. But the beginning of next year, like I'm flooding the internet. I'm flooding the internet. He's flooding the internet. I don't know if you knew, but he's about to. This is your warning, your flood warning right now. So, but you're gonna flood it with your music and stuff. Yeah, of course, music, content, videos. I want people to be ready for the videos. All right, let's go. All right, how can we follow you on social? Keith Canvas underscore, I look like this. That's how he looks. That's how we look in person. Real in person shit right here. And I'm here with my special guest, Anna Barnaletti. And we are here at Fashion Next, uh, one of the biggest fashion shows in the U.S. Maybe the best. It's at the top for sure. Yeah. And you were you were uh, the third designer today. I've been a designer now for over 25 years. I graduated from MIT in New York City, um, but my own um, line currently that I had is for about um, two or three years, um, but I've done, before that I worked for many other designers, I worked um, in the industry for a long time, I worked in theater and uh, film and lots of custom work and shows and all kinds of stuff like that. So, so where do you get inspiration for your designs? Well, this, this year in particular, my inspiration was toxic relationships. Um, to toxic relationships. Okay. So, yeah. I can relate. Yeah. I think everybody can. A lot of people can. And um, I just think it's such an um, important issue. I'm very much into mental health awareness. Um, my husband passed away a few years ago, suicide. And ever since then, I've just been like really inspired to um, talk about mental health as much as possible. And um, I do use it quite often in my inspiration. And this year in particular, um, I was inspired by toxic relationships and how like you can feel really lost in them and how like if sometimes it, you know you kind of lose yourself, which is why I called my line Heartbreak Horror. And, and the horror is in losing yourself, yeah. And then another tagline that I use is time to show your worth because I feel like, you know, we get so down if we're in a relationship like that, that per person, if it's toxic, they, yeah, they make you feel so bad about yourself and at some point, we have to learn to kind of like, you know, time to show your worth. Like we're, we are, you know, we deserve way more than being treated like that, right? So it's really important. I wanted to talk about that, put that out there, and just hopefully inspire somebody if they are in a toxic relationship to get out because uh, we, we all deserve to be happy. So yeah, that was my inspiration this year. A little conceptual, but that's typically how I design. I definitely felt that um, with the music and the outfits and like the, just the way the models walked. It's kind of like more slower, like a little slower and more like, yeah. Um, I like to have him walk slow, have a lot of attitude, help tell the story, and the music tells the story, the clothes tell the story, the models tell the story, it all comes together. And, and how can we find your uh, your line of clothing? Right, so my website, my website is um, anabartoletti.com, and um, I'm on all socials, same thing, anabartoletti designer. Does it look good? Of course we look good, look at us. You even have a little kiss mark on your cheek. Is that is that part of the outfit or oh, it is now? <laughs> someone someone gave me a kiss because I did so well tonight. You did. I saw it. Thank you. Not only a model but also a hairdresser designer. Hairdresser designer. Well, no, um, I'm a I'm a hair designer. I do hair design. Um, I model. I do creative direction, and I just like bringing people together to create beautiful things. The house of V3. How did you get into the fashion scene? 
Um, I've been into, you know, I, I always tell people I have style. I don't have the money for fashion yet. <laughs> but no, I've always just been very stylish and I just honestly, whatever I created in my mind, I can put it onto my body and I try to match it inside to the outside. But getting into the modeling scene in the hair world, I envisioned the rooms that I wanted to walk into and I went after them. So I've been modeling probably now about since 2006, but off and on, you know. I had to go back in and work on myself and come back as a fine tuned machine. Yeah, I bet you just like take a break and you go shopping and people are like, I need you to be my model. Like you're trying to like get away from it, but people are like. Well, you know, it's, you know I, I'm a walking billboard. We all are. What, what are you selling? Oh. Uh, this is America. This is America. Oh, I'm Carissa with On The Scene and we're here at Fashion Next with uh, my special guest. Hi, my name is Asadi Skyheart. Uh, I'm Stella the Artist. They uh, called us for like Fashion X Influencer, so we're just here to promote Fashion X and you know, help with the brand. I just actually got into runway modeling uh, January of this year and um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of like a drug, honestly, you know, like you just like, you feel that adrenaline, you're around like the most beautiful people within your city and it just really feels like, yo, like I just, I, I just really am all for the art and the fashion of it. Uh, I also do music and acting and modeling and just every single like artistic community I've been in has just been so supportive, like open arms, you know, like I'm just so grateful to be within Portland doing art. What kind of music do you make? Yeah, um, so I have I produce, rap, and sing. Um, I would say it's mostly like, I'll say like punk, tribal, uh, fusion. Um, yeah, I really try to bring, um, I, I have indig indigenous ancestry. I really try to bring that to the forefront. Um, but also like telling like, you know, like stories and, you know, reminiscent of music that I grew up listening to. Yeah, so I definitely do modeling, but I'm originally a singer songwriter, just like my friend right here. So, how you two met through music? We actually met through modeling, so. Yeah. <laughs> you found out that you're both artists. Have you collaborated musically before? We're actually yeah. planning on it. Like, we this actually Friday. just talked about yeah. it. What can you say about like the Portland like art scene in general? Because not only are you models, but you're also um, music artists. What can you say about the scene here compared to like New Jersey or like other places that you've been? Oh my God, yeah, it's just so collaborative. Even if like, you know, you're going to like LA or whatnot, I, I feel like it's mostly like people trying to like get ahead or whatnot. This, my experience with acting community, music community, modeling community, it's how can we build together? How can we provide, you know, foundational pieces so that artists can, you know, have a, a structure, a foundation, because, you know, we're not given that, you know, like they don't really care about if you're an artist or anything like that, you know, it's just like figure it out yourself. So I just felt really supportive. The younger generation is kind of like building up or like making our own path um, in the creative community, because I feel like in Portland, they're like that path isn't there yet, which is um, hard work. But at the same time, like we get to make it whatever we want it to be, you know? Yeah, I, I think that's what's beautiful about Portland. It really is whatever you make it. And I just feel so like empowered with like, with a bunch of my friends who are also multifaceted. Like we really can just like build something together that actually like brings Portland and puts it on the map. You know, I, I really feel like that's gonna, you know, just look at Fashion X, you know, like how it started from the bottom. Fashion X is uh, bringing in some big names here to Portland. Um, and it's, I, I really love it because it brings like all these creative people together um, and it is helping to put Portland on the map. So it's like one of the biggest fashion shows really in the world right now, I think, right? Like it was just in Forbes, so yeah. yeah New York Fashion Week, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy how, how you can, you know, just believing in, you know, your vision can, what you can do and manifest, you know, yeah. Well, girl, I'll let you get back to the party, but um, do you want to shout out your social media really quickly? Of course, um, at Asani Skyheart, A-S-O, N is in Nancy, H-I-S-K-Y-H-E-A-R-T, yes. Um, you guys can follow me at Stella the Artist. Um, Stella the Artist on all platforms. I'm streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, you name it. DJ No BS, AKA Bianca Mac. Music director and DJ for Fashion Next 2023, 10 year anniversary. Let's get it. Let's get it. Shout out to DJ JR holding it down on the ones and twos right now while I do this interview. We're about to have a live performance by the one and only King Benzo in a little bit, and then I'm hopping on. Let's 
The homie, yeah. There he is. There he is. How did you get involved in this community? I had a good friend reach out to me who was like, hey, they got this fashion show. You should probably check it out, probably DJ for it. And I was like, tell me more. So we started talking, two and two started adding up to four a whole lot. And it was like, yeah, I'm in, let's do this. Were you really big into fashion before that? Like, yes and no. Like, I like fashion, but it wasn't like a world I was in. But now I'm in it. When I'm you're in it, you're in it. Like, you're fully submerged in it. Like, I didn't even know about Fashion Next until last year somehow, because I feel like it's its own little scene, its own, like, bubble, which is very, it's very inclusive. But at the same time, if you're not in the fashion world, you don't really see all of it. But I just think it's so cool to, like, that it's its own little world, you know? Yeah, it's a lot of people who don't even realize that Portland has a fashion week. I told some friends I was doing, they were like, wait, Portland fashion week? So like Columbia jackets and Birkenstocks? And I was like, ha ha ha, funny. But no, uh, it's real fashion, it's fashion technology. It is trends. We got an up next contact. So you get to see who's gonna be like moving forward in this fashion world. And it's a beautiful thing. We had a lovely design this Thursday. Shout out to Feliciano who won it all at the Up Next Contest 2023. Shout out to Gutter Girl who won it last year, 2022. It's hot, it's so hot, I burn myself. Who's your Who's your favorite designer? All of them, I cheer for everybody. Good I got answer, all, good answer. All of the designers. If you're out there working hard, sewing a dress, putting a button on a shirt, doing whatever, I got all the respect in the world for you because I don't know how to do none of it. So to see I just them, wear the clothes, I don't do any of them. Yeah, so. To see them put that hard work, those hours, that, that, that sleepless nights, all of it, it's so good to be a part of it. It's so good to see it. It's so good to be a part of it, to get the music going for them, hearing their selections, hearing what they're inspired by, and playing that on a runway for them. It's a truly transformative experience. Find me on Instagram at tallbianca.mp3. Look at me, I'm much taller than the person interviewing me. She got heels on, I'm in flats. I got, I got six inch heels on, so. And I'm, in, and I'm in flats and I'm still way up here. So hit me up tallbianca.mp3. Send a message, that's not how to book me, but that's to let me know that you're interested. We'll go to email channel. I'll send you that information when you reach out. But yes, it'd be an honor. I do it all. I'm open format. I can play all styles. I can do all ages. I can do genres, vibes, etc. And I'm here with my guest, Sarah Shaul. You know, I run an organization called Bricks Need Mortar, and we support small businesses in Portland, particularly retailers. So a lot of fashion. Nice. Um, what was the name of it again? Bricks need mortar. One of the things we've been working with a lot of partners with for this holiday season is this program called Win Big. So people who choose to shop at participating small businesses can get raffle entries and those raffle entries, uh, they, they get collected in an app called the Win Big app. And then people can win air travel, vacation stays, um, sporting events, tickets, all kinds of things. And it's just a really fun way to shop for the holidays. Go to Small Shops Big Hearts and Instagram and it has all the info. Go check it out for your holiday shopping needs. This lovely woman, Catherine Seeley. We're so proud of the energy in downtown Portland. Tito, you did a fabulous job, all the designers. I have to give a special shout out to my girl, Angela Foster. Keep my home. That's my girl. Key makeup artist. I own Event Cosmetics and she's a good supporter to our business and they did an outstanding job tonight. Oh, yes, I mean, everybody looked beautiful. Um, I'm sure they're beautiful anyway, but I think Angela just brings out the natural beauty in people. She's actually worked with my team. Um, when we're not doing fashion, we do weddings and photo shoots. So we go way back with another homie of ours, Tracy Schultz. So, you know, we have a really terrific makeup culture here in Portland. But the one message I want us all to make sure that we get out to the beautiful people out there is don't just come out for Fashion X. Come down to Portland all during the holiday season and support these local businesses and these designers. They want you to buy these fashions that you saw tonight. And Angela and all the makeup artists want you to come get your makeup done for all the galas and holiday events. So I have been in Portland for over 30 years and I was I was a fashion retailer for for tw 28 years. So um, so it was a natural segue to just go support that whole ecosystem that we have here. Yes, and I'm here with my friend and special guest. Echo the Savage, what's up? Hell yeah! How did you guys? How did you like the show? Oh, uh, we just got here. You know, I kind of crashed in at the last moment. You know me. Yeah, I did too. Fashion will be late. 
always. Yeah. How did it? I got a lot of great music coming out soon. Be cooking up some bangers with KG King from Atlanta. Hell yeah. Uh, got some new stuff with Mookie that just dropped that I did some mix. And Love him. Uh, and of course, you know, I got a lot of new stuff coming out from my trip to the Philippines. So. Okay, working hard. Yeah, getting ready for that international tour, you know, so. Echo the Savage, spell how it sounds. Find me everywhere, baby. Portland Fashion Week, we out here. Sierra Rocket, uh, and you are a designer. Where do you normally show your clothes? I'm all over Portland. I vend a lot. Um, I actually recently vended in Iowa for a big concert there, and then I do a lot of shows in Portland. Uh, my brother is kind of a known DJ in Portland, so I do a lot of events here. And a ton of events. Cosmetics as well. And then I did a, a fashion show with Gutter Girl, actually. Um, fashion Friday, that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I love your style. You obviously know what you're doing with your outfit. You designed your clothes too, right? Beautiful, I love it. I love leather, I love pleather, I love chains, all of it. Like this is my vibe right here. Where can we Where can we find your, your um, clothes online? Um, Instagram is the best way to get a hold of me these days. Yeah. What's your Instagram? Sierra Rocket Designs. Who did your makeup tonight? I'm also a makeup artist. I did my own makeup. Oh, you didn't say that. You did your own makeup. It's beautiful. I'm gonna like take some, I'm taking notes. I'm like looking and like. I'm actually here with um, Event Cosmetics. It's a company that I work with. Um, is that Angela? You work with Angela? With who? With Angela Boss. I do know Angela. She's a great makeup artist as well, but um, not yet, but we'll work together. And we are here with? Gina. Right. Gina! I was part of the performers with Mr. Wheelie. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just met him from Vegas, right? Yes. Um, were you are you a singer or a dancer? No, I'm a nurse actually. Okay. So yeah. Thank you for your service. Yes, this is my biggest passion. Yeah, so this is one of my biggest passions when I was a wild, uh, child, sorry. And wild, obviously. So yeah, I always wanted to be a Miss Albania. I got selected, but I didn't make it to the finals. So oh, here I am today. Yeah, I just uh, work with the different designers here and there, uh, different photo shoots, a video clip, but nothing. Yeah, they saw potential on me. They're like, I want you to be part of them. So they hired me to be part of the set of the whole this beautiful venue. How is the creative and fashion scene different here uh, compared to Albania, where you're from? Definitely, I see. I see way so much more progress in Portland. Portland wasn't known for fashion. Fashion is very hippie. I loved it, but it took me a while to adapt. So European, I lived in Italy for two years. It's completely different style. Very, very girly and very like you know, like very clean. But I love the you know combination of street style and you know all that. Yeah. Very unique style in Portland. Like you. You kind of forget that and you leave and you're like, oh shit, not everybody looks like a goddamn lumberjack or some shit. Yeah. So what do you like about the um, creative uh, and fashion scene here in Portland? I love I love the the whole, like, you know, I'm mostly behind the scene. It's so much work behind and it's so beautiful working there with designers, with models, it's stress. You get angry, you get mad, people crying, people laughing. So it's a combination of so much. So you can find me on GinaIsmahili.com. I'm sorry, GinaIsmahili on Instagram. We on the scene live, and I'm here with my very good friend, my brother, my lovely, lovely. What's up? <laughs> Introduce yourself. My name is Grit Mix Banky. Yo, we we live on the scene at Fashion Next. Grit, tell me what the fuck we're doing here. What are we doing? Bro, I don't know what the fuck we're doing, honestly. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm in here with my little pink drink. We got a pink drink. We going crazy. You already know what the fuck going on. And you done know. So Grit Mix Spanky, tell me what you've been working on, my dog. Uh, you feel me? I've been busting it down dirty style. Okay. Oh, shit. I got a new project coming out. Yes. Look out for Land of the Dead okay. coming out soon. Hey, hey. I also, oh. I've been doing yeah. a lot of Kegels. Oh, my boy is ready and rearing. Man Kegels. I'm fucking sick with it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Any events coming up? Any events? Uh, we got things in motion. That's right. Things are not solidified, but things are in motion. Things in motion. Many we things we in motion. Stroking. We got things in motion. Bet that. Bet that. And that <laughs> is a wrap. That's, that's a wrap. Grit McSpanky, live on the scene. I'm pretty motherfucking Leon. This is my brother, Grit McSpanky, and we're out. <laughs>